Welcome to Live with Viv of the Caribbean team with Preferred Real Estate Broker. I am your Central Florida Realtor since 2008. Welcome to Live with Viv. Joining us today is my special guest, Neville Smith, a Florida realtor with Preferred Real Estate Brokers. Hello, everyone. Hi, Viv. Thanks for having me on again today. Neville, it's great to have you here again. Remember, everyone, feel free to comment, share, like, and ask questions. Is there a topic that you'd like me to cover? Please let me know. Also, please subscribe to my channel, Live with Viv, to get the latest updates. Remember to stay till the end of the video to receive a special gift. The topic of today's conversation is an overview of the step to becoming a homeowner. This presentation is designed to give general information about the topic. It goes without saying that you have to do your research, research, and do some more research. Sure, sure. Generally, a home purchase is one of the largest financial decision many of us will make. So it should be done with a plan in mind. So Neville, we heard that location is a key. Let's talk a little bit about that. Yes, Viv, most of us have heard this many times. Location, location, location. Each neighborhood does have a price tag and the same model home can have a different asking price depending on its location even within the same neighborhood. Mm -hmm. An example is premiums on a lot adds to the price of the home. Things such as a waterfront location, a prime location, or the size of the lot. Viv, now that the buyer has a fair understanding that location can affect price, what is one of the first things a buyer should do now that they made the decision to become a homeowner? Glad you asked Neville. Well, now, if they are financing the purchase, they should find out if they can qualify for a loan at the same time. How much will that they be prepared for? They can start by doing the free credit at annualcreditreport.com. Also, they should contact a lender to get pre-approved. The lender will let them know if there are any outstanding items that may be roadblock to get in a loan. The pre-approval lets the buyer know how much home purchase power they have. Mm -hmm. The lender can also let the buyer know about programs they may qualify for. The buyer should also get their financial document organized, depending on the lender. You may have to supply document from multiple years and during buying process possible. The same document may be multiple times. Neville, let's talk a little bit about the team that will assist the buyer in the process. Viv, as you mentioned, buying a house is a team event. Besides a lender, there are other professionals needed to get the purchase done. Some of those major players include your realtor, mm -hmm. the house inspector, the insurance agent, a surveyor, a real estate attorney, and generally that's to get a better understanding of the documents before you sign them. A title company, depending on how the contract is structured, and a transaction manager. There may be additional service providers necessary depending on your transaction. Okay guys, so that's it for part one of our discussion on becoming a homeowner. This time, we discussed the effect of location on the price of the home, checking your credit before starting the process, the reason to get pre-approved before starting the search. We also talked about the service provider buyers should get to know. Join us next time when we discuss money needed to purchase a home and tips on what to tell your realtor. Thanks Neville for joining us on Live with Viv. You're welcome Viv. Bye everyone. Remember to register for this week's gift at homesearchcentralflorida.com. Thanks for watching Live with Viv. Remember to subscribe to this channel 
to get updates on new video releases.